For a long time, I dreamed about the band. There was a need for closure. It seems like only five minutes ago that we were pushing a broken van back through the streets of London after a gig we played to no one. Tonight, we play out the fantasy of millions. I get asked to do a session, and the other musicians are a drummer named Stuart Copeland and a bass player who calls himself Sting. Within short order, the police, as the world knows the band, is born. Sting, or I, suggest that maybe we try out his new song. Roxanne, you don't have to put on the red light. We have a great song. They think we're a punk band. And we don't destroy officers or insult people. Well, not to their faces anyway. I begin photographing everything around me. Sting is fast becoming a media darling. Should we film me whooping Sting? Yes. That would be good, wouldn't that it? Would be great. <laughs> Instead of rejoicing in the unbelievable success we've created together, the studio feels more like a canvas for dirty fighting. Each one of us battling for his own territory. Each one of us wants his instrument slightly louder than the other. We finish up the album, Ghost of the Machine, and that's about what I feel like, a ghost. It feels like Sting has already broken away. I'm quitting first. I'd just like to introduce the band. Andy, this is Stuart. I remember you. We're going to go on tour. This is the biggest gig of our lives. Life doesn't end here. Now, it is forever.